<laughs> so I'm just going to read the poem that I wrote before, because I, when I finish the other poem, I'll read it if you want, like you want to hear it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a love poem, um, and I named it A Language of Love for All Eternity. Okay. Having found one another, nothing else is more powerful than immediate, passionate lust, union. Yet, now he uses distance to capture all the streams which have been attached, not to two physical bodies having come close, but strings in each one of us unique. They guide like a star, a feeling, the pure essence of our beings. It could have been rocks and waterfalls, but this transcends nature. Um, it is human as humans master nature. It is hope and yes. love. Yes. Love not exclusively taking place in me or you, because in addition to us, there's a whole world, a web of strings. We will let these strings have, will we let these strings have slack or pull the strings, which I've mentioned but a few that bind scientists to brain. <laughs> <laughs> are they fine as they are? I'm not talking about momentum and photons exclusively. I'm talking about direction and algorithms. <laughs> <laughs> Converting over points. The paradigm is modeling descriptive functions which conserve the most kinetic and potential energy. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy to imagine. Two gymnasts work in unison to exploit the limits of a few objects, forces and planes, torques and momentum. Simple, this is between two people. A uh, more higher level possible parallels might be orchestra, but the goal here, uh, the union, we have a harder time identifying. Pitch, frequency, amplitude, duration, crescendo of an energy field, those are adjectives which get at different levels of description and formations, which a goal and a method uh, are combinatorially modeled. Some measures are tools to capture the state of the orchestra. For example, beginning the second half. <laughs> but these measures um, are more minute than the second half uttered, which does give a vague idea about direction and where the orchestra will go. But the tools which capture the state are tone, pitch, amplitude, frequency, duration. These tools describe the state of the orchestra. They do not seem to indicate anything about the goal, nor the method to achieve that goal. And yet, when all the notes have been played and have been descriptively recorded in the appropriate sequence, the higher level properties gradually emerge. Time is the essential property which gives the appearance of coherence to the receiver. In addition to time, there's directedness and function and computation. And these all require ordering and, of course, perception of the sequence, uh, which one must be receptive to. All the measures are not created equal. We find tune our perceptual faculties to arrive at goals, hardly ever thinking about the descriptions we use, not aware that descriptions alone would adequate and apply combination sequence. Why so much detail on this process? Because each day one takes a step in a direction, if left unaware. The streams which depict the trajectory of those steps may cross objects which the perceptible faculties would record. Acutely sensitive to pain, a soldier may inaccurately perceive a moment of heroism and be henceforth for dead. Had he described each moment accurately uh, and measured to do so, the grandeur which he inaccurately perceived would more accurately be seen as early grave. There are but a few goals which need description to be perceived. A CD in your hands and my description inside. <laughs> my arms around you and the measure and the meaning clear. Our irises in parallel, once again seeing beauty. Material, videos, pictures, descriptions of the things we have experienced, which we want to bring forth. Words being spoken accurately, telling of the journey. Complementary activities which we are a part of. Inventions to help others describe and perceive. Gifts to each other when in times of need. Posture for the words to see how we comp for the world to see how we complement each other. Love stored in our hearts when it's hard to see. A language for all eternity.
Nice. <laughs>